on the patio on the roof, fairy lights twinkled, giving Travis and Taylor a warm glow. This was the last stop on her Gira's tour in Europe, and they finally got to have some peace and quiet. Travis was always able to charm people, so he shocked Taylor with a private dinner with a stunning view of the city. This is amazing, Trav, Taylor said in a whisper, her eyes shining. Thank you. He ran his hand along a loose curl behind her ear. I'll do anything for you, Tay. Listen, though, he said in a serious tone. There's something I need to tell you. Taylor's smile got a little shaky. What is it? Travis laid it out after taking a big breath. First, in a few weeks we start training camp. You know how tough it gets. I have to give the season my full attention. Right now, a ring would only add extra stress for both of us. Taylor nodded, and her eyes lit up with understanding. That makes sense. During the season, football is your life. Exactly, she said. Travis reached out and touched her hand, his thumb lightly rubbing a callus on her palm that showed how hard she worked on her guitar. Second, well. He thought for a moment, and a playful glint came back to his eyes. How can I propose when you haven't even written a song about me yet? When Taylor laughed out loud, the stress went away. Oh, you want a song, do you, Mr. Kelsey? Certainly. A song about touchdown dances dedicated to my future fiancé? I'd be proud to wear that ring. She looked at Kelsey with a sly smile and said, okay. I accept the challenge. But here's the deal, if you win the Super Bowl this year, that song will be the one you use to ask someone to marry you. A determined look matched hers. Deal. But you better get ready to write a lot of wind songs, because this season Kelsey is unstoppable. In the city lights, which sparkled like a million little promises, they sealed the deal with a kiss. Even though the ring was put on hold, their love was as strong as the skyline of London and shone brighter than any rock. Each of them had their own job and dream, but they were ready to write their own song as a team. There were fairy lights on the patio, which gave Travis and Taylor a warm glow as they curled up on the soft outdoor sofa. It was the last stop on her Gira's tour in Europe, and they were finally able to enjoy a moment of peace. Travis started to speak, his voice tense with fear. Taylor, I need to tell you something. As always, Taylor was able to tell that he was feeling uneasy. What's wrong, Trav? He took a big breath in. There's no easy way to say this, but... I can't propose right now. Her smile broke, and there was a hint of sadness in her face. Oh, she said in a low voice. He quickly took her hand and said, it's not because I don't want to. Taylor, you are amazing. The most beautiful woman I know. Then why? Travis let out a sigh. There are two main reasons. One, football season is almost here. I couldn't give you the care you need because of training camp, preseason games, and the busy regular season. Tay, you deserve everything in the world. She gave him a light squeeze. Thanks for that, Travis. But you always find time for what's important. This is different, he insisted. An engagement is a promise, and I wouldn't want to make it if I couldn't be fully present. Okay, she said with a slow nod. Second, he went on, you just got back from a huge tour. You gave those shows your whole selves. Wouldn't you like some time to, be Taylor? She smiled and pulled the corner of her mouth together. That's true, Mr. Kelsey. Maybe some time to write, rest, or bake cookies without having to deal with jet lag? Travis laughed. Yes, that. This isn't a permanent, no, just a, not yet. I want to properly get down on one knee when the season is over and you're ready to chill out. There will be fireworks, and Joe Burrow might even show up. He loved the sound of her laughter. I like fireworks. No, not so much the Burrow. The promise that wasn't said hung heavy in the air as they fell back into a comfortable quiet. Travis knew Taylor would be upset but he also knew she valued honesty and the same goals as everyone else. They might not be able to get engaged right now, but that would only make their happily ever after even better when it did come. There were fairy lights on the patio, which gave Travis and Taylor a warm glow as they curled up on the soft outdoor sofa. 
In London, the European part of the era's tour came to an end, and Travis surprised Taylor with a romantic dinner to welcome her home. But the tension between them wasn't because they were getting back together. Travis began to say, Tay, but his voice was unsure. Taylor, who was always aware of how he was feeling, put down her wine and looked at him with worry lines across her brows. She said in a soft voice, something's on your mind, babe. Travis took a deep breath and reached out to touch her hand. There are two things I need to tell you, and neither is easy. Taylor gave him a light squeeze. Okay, shoot. First, he said, next week is training camp. You know how strong that is. I have to give the season my full attention. Being that dedicated is hard on the body, and right now I wouldn't want to be the fiancé you deserve. There was a thoughtful silence. Taylor knew what his job required of him. That makes sense, Trav, she said, showing that she got it. He spoke in a huskier voice and said, Second, remember how you said you wanted to write an album about falling in love? Taylor's eyes got bigger. Yeah? I think you should, he said with a wicked grin. This relationship is electric as a whole. Tay, you need to record this magic. Everyone needs to hear it. A soft laugh came out of Taylor's mouth. She said, you're unbelievable, shaking her head and smiling at the same time. You want me to delay our engagement for an album? Not delay, Travis said again, his voice firm. Let's write our story together, on and off the field. When the season is over and your tour is over, we'll celebrate our love the right way, and everyone can see if you want to. The smile on Taylor's face grew into a big grin. She teased him, Travis Kelsey, you smooth talker, and leaned in for a kiss. Okay, Dare accepted. Let's write a story that will score. There was a nice quiet between them as they kissed under the fairy lights. Even though there wasn't a ring yet, the promise in the air was more beautiful than any rock. Their love story had just started a beautiful, messy, and amazing new chapter. It was a perfect mix of scores and chart-topping hits. The fairy lights on Taylor's porch in Nashville twinkled with excitement. Travis took a deep breath to calm down while playing with a velvet box in his pocket. It was tonight. He had planned a lovely dinner for her and had written a song just for her with the help of a very excited Kelsey brother. But as Taylor came out, a vision in sunflower yellow, he felt a familiar knot of fear tighten in his gut. Travis spoke quickly, Tay, before we eat, I need to tell you something. Taylor's smile was a little shaky. She said, okay, but her voice was full of worry. Travis took out the box, but the sweat on his hands covered the box's shine. This isn't what you think. When he snapped it open, a beautiful diamond ring came out. Tay, I love you. More than scores, more than Kelsey Kelsey. But. The weight of his next words seemed like it would crush him. There are two things. First, sports season is getting closer. The Chiefs have a real chance to win the rings this year, so I need to be very focused. Taylor smiled again, showing that he understood. I get it, Travis. You've always given the game your all. Travis went on, feeling more confident. This is the second thing, the media show. They'd have a great time with us. It could take away from your songs, tours, and all the hard work you've put into them. Taylor's smile went away again. She said, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe you're right. Travis felt his heart sink as he reached for her hand. But that doesn't mean it's not real. We can wait. Until the season ends or you're ready to go through the storm with me. As he squeezed her hand, he said, this ring is a promise. A promise that I'll be here, cheering you on from the sides, and ready to meet you when the crowd stops cheering. Taylor shed a tear, but it wasn't a sad one. She pulled his hand away. Travis Kelsey, you are the most thoughtful, most incredible man I know. They touched foreheads as she leaned in. Let's write a song about it. A love story that has been put on hold, but still a love story, Travis laughed, feeling calm and happy. A song about holding out for a touchdown, and forever? Taylor gave a grin. Exactly. As the night went on, there wasn't a proposal, but a song was growing in their hearts. 
It was like a silent promise of a future full of music, 